suggested players would be Evan Phillips, Shane Bieber, Clay Holmes, Chris Sale. I'm going to count probably I'm, all four of those out right now. I kind of want to bat. I, I'm looking. Yeah, I was looking at Volpe or Yoshida. We're kind of the first two that I I know. I like that. Available bats: Ian Happ, uh, Anthony Volpe, T.J. Friedel, Riley Green, Marcelo Zuna, Jorge Soler, and Masataka Yoshida. I have been big on Anthony Volpe this year. I haven't been writing about him to suggest him to anybody. I'm not holding back that opinion by any means. I just haven't had a chance to write about him. But I do like the upside for Anthony Volpe this year. Yeah, we don't have a shortstop yet. And we don't, no. Um, Volpe's probably going to bat towards the bottom of the lineup to start the year. DJ LeMahieu is who is rumored to be leading off. I think by the end of the year, Volpe is leading Volpe's off. Volpe's definitely got a shot to take that, yeah. And imagine Volpe leading off ahead of Aaron Judge and Juan Soto and John Carlos Stanton and Anthony Rizzo. There's a lot of run scoring ability there. He went 2020 last yeah. year. I like it. It's a good all around pick. He might hurt the, the batting average a little bit, but he's just a really good all around pick for the squad. So I swear then I it would just be. Do it. There we go. First base, outfield three, right? Oh, catchers. No catchers yet. Yep. This I'm glad you said that this might be the time for us to take a catcher because we got to you got to start two. Um, we need two catchers, a first baseman, a corner and middle infield and three outfielders, handful of pitchers. Um, I mean, he's suggesting like Tyro Estrada, Kenley Jansen, Chris Sale, Carlos Rodon. It really wants us to take Chris Sale. I don't hate him this year. I just need to see that the boy can stay healthy. But on the side over here, we got Sean Murphy. Uh, yeah. He's the top available guy. Wilson Contreras is also I, I up think there. he bounces back this year. Sean Murphy? No, I'm sorry. Uh, Contreras. I think he has a better Contreras. season than last. Yeah. I think so, too, because his, his first half of the season was so bad last year that I was recommending he could be dropped. Um, the second half of the season he put together was absolutely insane. He hit like 360 old, in the second half yeah. or something nuts. Well, better than his old I love self, that. but a player we're yep. familiar, familiar with. <laughs> Um, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't like Contreras. I, I, I took Contreras. I like that. Yeah. Good, yeah, solid yeah. first catcher. Um, and then we can try and get a, a second catcher later. Like right now, it's going to be the Ooh, 12th round. Just Maybe like, like round 18. Gabriel there. Uh, here we go. So the suggested players now in round Still number pitch. 12 Jose Barrios, Adbert, Al Ozale, Hunter Brown, you Darvish. And then on the side here, we got Max Muncy, James Outman, Chaz McCormick, Jake Berger, Gabriel Moreno. We just took a catcher. I'm not going to recommend taking back-to-back -back catchers. If you want okay. to, I get it. Moreno and Wilson Contreras, great stack, but I, I feel it. But that's not where I would go uh, for me. Outman, Nathaniel Lowe. <laughs> I, just, I, you know, I oh, like Oh, Jackson too. Holiday um, just went. Oh, look at that. Did he? Oh, he did right before. For us, so how do you right before us with Jackson Holiday? Before that was that Carlos too Rodon, early Jared or too late for you? King. For Jackson, I like him right there. Twelfth round, Jackson Holiday. I like that. I think there's a legitimate shot he makes it out of spring training, and, and yeah, if will. not, he's going to be called up by the end of ready. April. That boy's ready. Um, so you, you're saying you I like, like Outman, Outman right now? I like the ceiling on Outman. I think over everybody right now they got here. a projected twenty home runs. Yeah. Like it, it's agree. kind of the same, kind of the same thing with Volpe. He's going to hurt the average a little bit, but in that lineup, mm -hmm. like he's going to, he's going to have a chance to hit. Yeah. And 20 home runs. He has probably 20 stolen base upside. So 20, 20 potential could score 80. Yeah. He steals more runs. than 11 bags. He steals more than 11 bags. I agree on this one. Are you, you're not leaning McCormick at all. I would rather have Outman. All right. We'll go Outman. Outman in the 12th round makes a very good third outfielder. I'm loving our draft so far. I'm not going to lie. Looks pretty I'm, solid. I'm really, really, really liking our Ooh, draft large. so far. Experts rank Jang's Outman at 157. We drafted him at 172. Great value pick, according to the draft simulator. Now, I wasn't expecting this. Now, uh, so all these outfielders, these top three, I love all of them. Um, I don't think those are suggested players. I caught myself off guard. Um the yeah, suggested overall players, Key Brian Hayes, Nathaniel Lowe, like Nathaniel Hugh Darvish, Lowe too. Eduardo Rodriguez. 
I I like him. He's just he's such a boring player. He's boring, Which but we're in round boring. thirteen without a first baseman. <laughs> <laughs> That's what more do you, uh, <laughs> what, what more do you want? We waited this long. Uh, I mean, we're kind of out of. I think we gotta here. take him. What, who? I mean, who else is left? Like, I know it says top, uh, but like, uh, Ryan Mountcastle, Jeremy Candelario, Andrew Mount Boss, Castle, nobody. A, so Nathaniel yeah, Low. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I would, I would point. be pretty worried about waiting on one of those other guys. Yeah, yeah. So thirteenth round for base looks like probably as late as you want to wait and even then according to the mock draft simulator we got about a one and and that's what you do at this part of the draft like that's what you you know focus in on these steals which is important this also starts to become the time when i look less at i mean on the mock draft simulator not in a normal draft but in the mock draft simulator i start to look less at the suggested players and more at the who's available on the side you got to fill the rest Um, right now i was suggesting ezekiel tovar Eduardo Rodriguez, Starling Marte, and Carlos Correa. I don't honestly want any of them this I'm, year yeah, in any draft. Nolan, they don't excite I'm me too much. Taking Mars, taking Jonah Heim, taking any of those guys over yeah. these suggested players. Christopher Morel, Morel even. Trevor Story also yep. still available. Um, what's our roster looking like? I I don't hate yeah. Gorman. You know, Gordon is a high home run uh, middle, middle infielder. Would be. Yeah good with this build that we've got especially like with soto endeavors on there we don't have another bigger home run guy outside of them so i think taking someone Let's like you're gonna have the case but he'll put that, it over that brings us home yes he will um let's see you gotta take to you check got, the comments you know, what up everybody pick and choose i see y'all i see y'all i'm just slow <laughs> Oh, okay. So Nolan Gorman was another value pick. We're getting some steals right here. Love to see it. Um, our boy is there. This see, this also becomes like <laughs> a lot of a lot of like Mariners picks start to look like Homer picks. Obviously, um, I don't care. But Brian Wu is available. I'm here for. It. I I think Brian Wu has a ton of upside. Fifteenth round Brian Wu is where he's going. Very 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 consistently. I love fifteenth round Brian Wu. There's so much upside there. We're taking him. I'm not even going to ask because I already know the answer from you. <laughs> That's the one right there. Every pick is a value pick at this point. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, the guys that just went right before us would be uh, Stevenson, Mountcastle, Matt Chapman, James Wood. James Wood is an interesting one to go ahead of us. Um, Best available currently, Carlos Correa, wow. Gurriel Jr., Jeremy Pena, Byron Buxton, Andrew Vaughn. A lot of outfielders and shortstop. I mean, yeah, that was here. the one. Yeah, I mean, we're good on shortstop and middle now, but Pena still sticking yeah. around. Who would have Who would have thought that this time last year? <laughs> yeah, he was going. He was going pretty early. I had him as a top ten shortstop that, last year going into the season. I'm not going to lie that that was jp going at the ball. top of the round future mariner matt chapman going a couple picks after that <laughs> uh do we want to take a fourth outfielder right now uh with like a i'm kind of marte yeah i was about to say or like Gariel maybe i saw a Gariel meme projected about 16 Jackson dingers 70 the other rabies. day did you, I, I like yeah i was like if you want draw. this you get him you you know power speed blah 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 but if you want none of it you you get jack suwinski's like damn that's a stray <laughs> <laughs> cold <laughs> but it's not wrong though yeah um, he's all right he's not uh, horrible so I, I don't do, think. do we go um we need another outfielder would you, would you, would you sure. like suwinski here over Gurriel. And that's a lot of bombs, but the, like, it's, we need average too. We need hits. We need to stay away from the strikeouts. We have a lot of the um, higher home run projections, but with those mm-hmm. guys come the strikeouts. If you want another one of those guys and just go in on the bombs, I think Suwinski's the move. But if you just want your point and a half or two points, I think Gurriel's the guy. What do you think? Yeah, I think I, I think Gurriel too. Yeah. I like it, like that lineup uh, out there in Arizona. We already got Marte, so not that I really stack players in in fantasy, especially not 16th round picks. But um, 
I think having him and Marte in our lineup combined will be it will be really good. Yeah. 